Michael Cappuccino Bacola from the Daily Racing Forum on Fridays to get us ready for a synthetic weekend uh, at Saratoga and Del Mar, a big Saturday. You can follow uh, Gino at It's Me, Gino B, on X for free. And, of course, uh, what is the site again, the dailyracingforum.com? drf.com and then shop.drf.com that's where you get all the the research information the past performances uh if you need a little bit of help some of our experts have betting strategies so they'll show you exactly how they're betting and what they're doing and hopefully i can lead you to a, a few in the right direction i think we have a couple plays for you at saratoga a couple at del mar and then we'll uh we'll give you a little nfl over on a win total if we have some time at the end all right, let's start with uh, Saturday at the Spa. Where are we headed here? It looks like the 8th and 10th races. Yes, and it's been bad weather so far the last few weeks. So I'm going to give you two horses, two races with horses that are on dirt races. So even if it does rain and there's some changing around, these races, I think, and these horses should be in those spots. Let's start in race number 8 with the number 6 uh, Rocketeer. This is a horse who I think, there's a, a key equipment change, Scott. A horse is going to add the blinkers. And what happens when you put the blinkers on, it just gives you a little more focus. You, you tend not to look around as much. Rocketeer has been sitting in perfect spots, moved to the front, took the lead. And then what happens, he kind of waits on horses when he strikes the front because he can't see, starts looking around. There's nobody else there. And he sort of waits, waits, waits. Other horses come back to him, and then he kicks on again. I think those blinkers will give him some focus. He's four and a half to one on the morning line, nine to two. I think that's a very fair price. There you go, Rocketeer, the six horse in the uh, eighth race. All right, what about the tenth race? This is the big one uh, at Saratoga on Saturday. It's the Alabama. It's a stakes race for three-year-old fillies. Top three-year-old filly right now, Torpedo Anna. She's going to face the boys. So this is a cool opportunity for a lot of the fillies that are very good, but they're not quite as good as her. And I think one of them is Power Squeeze, another horse who's in that same price range. She's four and a half to one. We're looking at the Time Form US card that gives you a lot of different information about the race. And I think this is a horse who has foundation. She's kind of a grinder. So the longer they go, I think it'll be fine for her. She just sits nicely and just keeps coming at you. She's a tough horse to wear down. She battles. Those are my two at the spa. Uh, Both of them should be right in that four, four and a half to one range. My uh, wife, 34C, I could also add a new nickname for her now, Power Squeeze. I like that. I may move in that direction uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, If Power Squeeze, if she comes through for us, I will change her name from 34C to Power Squeeze. All right. Let's go out west where it's best surf and turf at Del Mar on Saturday. By the way, uh, it's supposed to be just kind of crappy at Saratoga tomorrow, overcast. Sunday is supposed to rain there, but I'm seeing just overcast tomorrow, so they might be able to get these races in no problem without a sloppy track. All right, Del Mar, fourth race and eighth race. Let's start with the fourth race. Yeah, we're looking at race number four. Uh, We're going to go to the outside with the number nine in here, Thought Process. This is a horse who sprinted in the first start and now is going to stretch out and go to the grass. And what's key about that is her dam, this horse's mom, was very good going long on the turf. So bred to do this with a little bit of experience going shorter. This horse is three and a half to one on the morning line. I have a feeling she's going to get bet down a little bit. Might be a little buzz on her because she fits really well on this spot. But that's the first of two at Del Mar. All right, and the eighth race. Yeah, this is the big race at Del Mar. It's the Del Mar Oaks. Medoro, the number six, she had a trouble trip last time out. She started to move, and she just ran right into traffic. She had nowhere to go. She had to wait, 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 and then angle around. I think she'll get a better trip in this spot. Uh, she's 5-1 to one on the morning line. If we can get anything around 7-2 to two or above, that's very fair value on her. We actually did a full um, analysis of this race on the DRF YouTube channel. So you get little looks at the replays of other races and other graphics and stuff if you really want to get deeper in the weeds on that one. That's awesome. All right, now we go to uh, Gino B's NFL Total Spectacular Snags. And you're going to go with who this week? Yeah, this week we're going to go for an over, and we're going to play the Jags over. This is the team that we all thought about a year ago was going to be kind of the next team in the AFC. And then everybody sort of jumped off them real quickly. Remember, this is a team that started out 8-3 and three last year, and then Lawrence got hurt. He had a couple different injuries, the ankle, the concussion, the AC joint. 
And to be honest, he didn't really play that well in spots too. He didn't take the step forward that we were really hoping. But I think he's better, and this team's a little bit better than the overall like kind of feel for them right now. So they were one and five down the stretch. Before that, this team was fifteen and five over a twenty game stretch. 